Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Hot Zone. I'm your host, Jason Robinson. And in The Hot Zone today, we have got the star of the NBC show Nurses, actress Natasha Callis. We're going to speak to her today a little bit about her career, about what it was like growing up in Canada, and about her hit show Nurses on NBC. All that and more. So stay tuned, because you're in The Hot Zone. Fearless. Out. <laughs> I am hopeful. I am rebellious. What was that? I am unbreakable. I am overwhelmed. I am a healer. We're gonna take care of you, okay? I am not a doctor. I've already broken rule number one this morning. And welcome back to the hot zone. We are joined by actress Natasha Callis. Welcome to the Hot Zone, Natasha. Thanks so much for having me. Good, good, you're welcome. It's all of our pleasure, seriously. So I, I'm just really so excited about your hit show on NBC Nurses. It's a great show, I love the show, especially at this time that we're all going through. But we can, we're gonna talk about that uh, a little bit later. But First, I just want to start about asking, like, how are you doing during this whole COVID-19 that, you know, the whole world is going through? Are you safe? Are you healthy? How are you feeling? I'm safe. I'm healthy. My family's safe. My family's healthy. So, I mean, yeah, I'm doing okay. It's definitely, you know, challenging times for everybody, but I'm, I'm healthy. I'm good. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, now let's just take a little bit uh, back. Now, you um, were born and raised in Vancouver, Canada, correct? Correct, yes. R right. So how was it growing up and being raised in Canada? So I love Canada. Vancouver is, have you ever been to Vancouver? No, I have not been to Vancouver. My aunt lives in Toronto, and I've been to in Toronto, but not Vancouver. Okay, so Vancouver is like, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful cities in, in the world. And um, in being raised here uh, by the water, I'm such an outdoorsy person. I love hiking and I'm, I could be in the water like all summer long if, you know, if I'm allowed to, as a kid, if I was allowed to. Yeah, I'm definitely very adventurous and outdoorsy and I think that was one of the perks of growing up in beautiful BC. Right, right. <laughs> you, you're, you're lucky. Actually, a lot of people were saying, I'm going to move to Canada if uh, President Donald Trump won the election again. So I don't right. think you worry about it being overpopulated again. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> what age was it, uh, were you, when you first realized that you was interested in acting? From the, such a young age, have just always, acting is just something that's always been in me. Before I even knew really what it was, I was doing it. And I would be, you know, like four, five, six years old, and I'd be watching movies and just like obsessively just rewatching them. I actually broke a VC, a VC, like, like oh, man. Thing, I, you're taking it back. I can't forget. <laughs> VC, VHR, no, no, no. VHS. VHS, those, right. are the, those are the letters. I broke yeah. those tapes because I would watch the movies so much that they would just like break. So yeah, I would, and, and, what, and what I would do is I would like study the characters and then, you know, memorize lines, whatever, and then portray them in my own, way and I'd go to school and I'd tell my teachers and my friends to um call me that character's name and I'd dress like that character or whatever and so my parents saw this and they're like wow this is really interesting she's definitely <laughs> you know like an actor but they didn't want to force anything and so they didn't want to put me in it and so when I was seven I finally went up to them when I figured out what I was actually doing and then I could you know actually do it as and hope you know make a career out of it so I told them to get me an agent and then yeah and then the rest is history and that's great because you know that parents really have to be supportive of their children and people always say oh I want to be an actress or I want to be an athlete and you know some parents are like well you know you go to school to be a doctor or, you know or an attorney or something like that you know that's that's hard it may never happen but it's so great to right. hear about parents like yours that really supported your dreams Oh, um, they are just the most supportive. They're like my number one fans always. And they just wanted, yeah, they just saw that I had such a big passion and they didn't, they wanted me to pursue that. They wanted me to, to be happy. And so, yeah, they saw that it fulfilled me, which they were, that's the only thing they were worried about. 
So who are some of the actors and actresses that you looked up to growing up that maybe you want to emulate or be like them? Anyone that uh, sticks out in your mind? From a really young age, Laura Croft was like my favorite movie, Angelina Jolie. Okay. And so I think that would be one of my dream roles is, is like an action figure like her in a movie like that. I love that. I would be, I would like repel off of my parents' like staircase. <laughs> really? With like a jump rope and pretend, and yeah, oh my, no, I'm not kidding. And they, they got me like this whole spy kit so uh -huh. I could pretend to be Laura Croft. So that was a huge um, inspiration when I was younger. Same with Matilda, the movie Matilda I was really obsessed with. Mm -hmm. and I would go to school and pretend to be Matilda. Um, but then growing up, studying actors and developing my craft, I really look up to um, Frances McDormand yeah. and, you know, obviously Meryl Streep and yeah. um, Emma, Emma Stone, mm -hmm. um, Nicole Kidman. Oh, gosh, the list, Viola Davis, oh. the list goes on and on oh. and on and on. Yeah. You're in the running. You, you're doing a great job so far. <laughs> you. At such a, young, such a young age, you know, you are doing so well and, you know, I've seen your movies and you've obviously done a lot of TV, but I think you're best known for the role that you had in Possession, which was a great movie. It was a horror film, a uh, very, very successful. Tell us a little bit about that film and how you uh, landed that role. That was probably, this will probably forever be my like favorite role. It was so much fun. I, it was, it was also my first, yeah, it was like my first, like lead big role movie and also my most challenging role. So I was 11 when I filmed it. Um, wow, so young? Wow, I didn't even realize. So like, young. Okay. Yeah, really a baby. And I remember getting the audition and I had to be possessed in one of the scenes. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I locked myself in my in my bathroom and I told myself I wouldn't let myself out until I looked in the mirror and was able to scare myself. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so I was actually like in my bathroom for a couple hours just staring at my facial expressions and how I was going to kind of like make myself appear scary. I just learned so much about myself as an actor and I kind of learned that I can take acting to, to new depths and kind of sink my teeth like even deeper into roles that I would have ever imagined yeah. um and so it kind of really paved the road I think for the rest of my career in um learning all of those things so early on yeah um, yeah see I couldn't do that because I'm claustrophobic so if I'm locked in like an MRI machine or an elevator in the bathroom I'm gonna start flipping out so that would really scare me <laughs> hey I'm claustrophobic too and Are in you? one of the scenes <laughs> oh yes oh yes wow. and in one of the scenes I was in a an MRI machine but they put this like cage mask thing over me mm -hmm. and I was like bolted in I mean not bolted in I could easily get up but it was still right. pretty confining uh -huh. And I remember that being like, okay, mindful breathing. Okay, yes. This. We're okay. yes. I can't do those traditional MRI machines. I have to do the, the those open MRIs because I can't do it any other way. So I'm like, listen, I feel you. The open MRI, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I feel ya. I feel ya. So now, yeah, you've done great in movies, obviously, uh, and on TV, and now you're back on TV on the hit. NBC show. It's called Nurses. It's a great show. I really, really love it. Uh, tell all our viewers a little bit about the show and about the character that you play. So Nurses follows five rookie nurses who are kind of thrown into a busy downtown hospital and it follows them as they navigate this new world of medicine and also developing relationships with their uh, with their patients and and realizing that nursing is a lot more than they learned in school it's so much more about empathy and and being emotional support for their for their patients yeah i play ashley collins who is edgy and sort of a, an adrenaline junkie and says whatever's on her mind and doesn't care you know who if it rubs somebody the wrong way um I love people like and that, by the way. <laughs> I do too. Say, I admire her so mean. much. She, she, I admire her. She is a yeah. badass. Nice. And if I had a little bit of her, like, I, I, that would be amazing because I'm <laughs> so not. So okay. opposite. Right. Yeah. Okay. So super fun character to play because she's, she is quite different 
from me. Are you guys incorporating any COVID storylines uh, into this uh, upcoming season, or does that take any any play in nurses, or was it taped before? Like, how did that work? Season one was filmed before COVID. Okay. Um, about a year before, actually. And then we just fin finished filming season two. So as far as season one goes, um, there will be no COVID, obviously. Okay. But um, okay. maybe in season two. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what can the fans of the show look forward to uh, in, in this current season? Any new storylines coming up? Any plot twists? What can the fans look forward to uh, in the season of Nurses? I think they can look forward to the relationships developing in the hospital um, with the nurses, with the doctors, maybe some romances, um, okay. maybe some love triangles. But yeah, it's uh, it's also really exciting to see, or for me, um, because Ashley has a nice character arc. Um, she might not be the most likable one right off the bat, but she she kind of opens up and you get to see a little bit of what her, like, why why she's the person she is and a little bit of, like, her, her family life and stuff. Um, right. So, yeah, I, I think you just, they can look forward to getting to know all of the characters a little bit better and, and seeing all of their friendships develop. And not only are you uh, an accomplished actress, I heard that you also have dreams of doing or going behind the camera, maybe doing some maybe directing. Do you also have dreams of doing that uh, in the future? Absolutely. Directing is such a huge passion of mine. And I, yeah, I can't wait to get behind the camera. And um, I've shadowed a couple of directors. So nice. um, yeah, directing, writing, producing. Yeah, you can expect all of that. I'm just such, I'm such a film nerd. So <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> I will be doing those, all nice. of that stuff. Well, I know anything that you put your mind to, you're going to be very successful at it, Natasha. Oh, so thank I'm, you very much. I will definitely thank be looking so forward to that next chapter in your career as well. <laughs> thank you. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me in the hot zone today, Natasha. You know, listen, I wish you all the best of luck and success in 2021. And the show Nurses is amazing. It's on Tuesdays, right? At uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC. Yes, correct. You got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to you and I wish you all the best and uh, I'm so happy for your career and I look forward to so much more from you. Thank you so much. I really uh -huh. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I've been on the phone calling and alarming people all day, actually. Well, the police have already arrested him. Then what is he still doing He here? was injured in the attack. Grace, one of his victims should have that thing. We don't get to make that call. Who he is or what he's done, the second he comes through our doors, none of that matters. Yeah, you know, if you really believe that, you wouldn't be so worried about people finding out that you're his nurse. Wow, it must be so easy when you only treat the patients you like. Hi, I'm Natasha Callis, and I'm in the hot zone.